Okay, so after you've started, uh, sorry, you finished the components video, you might want to take a look at um, the next video, which is how to do a bottle top, say for a Coca-Cola bottle. So we'll start off with a standard procedure, which is to create a new component, and we'll call it bottle top. and then we'll press OK. And you'll see it appears in the design tree here. So now we're working in the design tree. Uh, we haven't saved it yet, but I will save it and I'll call it top so that this changes here. So the first thing to do will be to sketch, create sketch on this bottom plane and this time we'll sketch a circle which has a center diameter and the mouse pointer asks for where you'd like the center to be so do it in between the green line and the red click and drag out to 50 millimeters now if you can't see where 50 is you could always type it in so let's just show you how to do that that says 80.7 so just type in 50 directly and then press enter, enter, and you'll end up with a 50 diameter. So we've finished sketching now, and we'd like to stop the sketch. And if there's any problems, don't forget that we can double click back, and then we can change the diameter by clicking. And then if we wanted to make it 52 or 54, press enter, and it will make it. So I'll leave mine at 54 and then press stop sketch and we go back to the 3D view. Now of course a, a bottle of top has got a thickness so I'll create and I'll extrude that profile and I'll drag it up to which seems reasonable for a bottle top for me within proportion if you like and press OK. Now the top of the bottle has got a round edge it would never be sharp so we'll move along to the next menu and that's called modify and this one's called a fillet and it's asking me in blue look for an edge and I'll just click on that top edge and I'll test it first with two millimeters so I'm just pressing two and actually that's okay that's not too big and it's not too small so now I'll press OK and I can press home and that brings it into view. Now you'll notice that when you turn a bottle with your fingers it's got these little edges so it becomes easier and I'll show you what you mean. Go to sketch, go to create sketch and this time I'm not going to choose a plane I'm going to choose a face so I'm going to sketch on this top surface and that swivels around to offer me um, where I'd like to put my sketch. This time I'm going to sketch a circle with two points. So first of all it asks me where I'd like to put the center and I'll zoom in and I'll click and then I'll drag out and I'll just cut into the edge like that and then I'll stop the sketch. I can stop it there as well. Now when I press home, you'll see what I've done. And I can use the pan and then click and drag, zoom in a bit. And you can see where I've done this sketch, just on the top. Now what I'd like to do there is I'm going to press escape, because you can see the mouse pointer is still in pan mode. Press escape, and then I'll go to create extrude that profile and I'll extrude it down and Fusion will automatically as it goes through the material recognize that you want to cut it so I'll go all the way through just to pan out zoom out all the way through there and I'll cut into the side now I wouldn't want to do that all the way around this surface 30 times so there's a way of doing it. So go to create, go to pattern, 
and go to circular pattern. Now it's asking me for an object that I'd like to make a pattern from. And of course it's that extrusion. So I can either click on the object or I can click on the extrusion. And it's a safer option, the extrusion. And then press It's asking me, sorry, for an object, an axis, which I'd like to turn it around. So select the axis and select one of these here. And as you can see, it's brought in this um, diameter, if you like, of where you're going to put all these different patterns. And it's asking you for a quantity. Well, at the moment, it's put three. So if I just put four and up the number, you can see them ghosting in. Can you see them here, here, and here? So if you keep upping the number, you can obviously type it in, you'll get to a point where you'll press OK, and it automatically puts in the pattern. So there you go. And you can turn and you can see. Now then, those are the basics. Now underneath, there's got to be a hole, otherwise it wouldn't be able to screw onto the top. So turn it over and then go to sketch, create sketch on that face. Just going to move it to the middle so it's easier and then go to sketch a center circle. Click on the middle and then drag out close to the edge and say stop sketch. Now you can see that I can create an extrude this circle and I can go down. Now how deep am I going? Well the best thing to do will be to have a look at a side view and then just click and drag all the way through and press OK and go back to home and what you'll see is you've created a top with a hole. And I'll show you how to do the thread and how to curve on the inside.